let's talk about a key component in the Afro-Latin movement, undulations. And undulations are wave-like movements that can happen in any particular part of the body that go to and fro in a fluid manner. Here we're doing an undulation of the upper body. The rib cage is pushing out, pulling back in, up and over, pulling back in, up and over, pulling back in. And the torso is moving by itself without being aided by the lower body or the pelvis. It's an isolation and an undulation. We're going to do the same thing with the pelvis here. Again, isolating the pelvis. Pushing from behind the glutes in, pelvis rocks forward, pulls back, forward, pulls back, forward, pulls back, forward, and pulls back. Let's see it from the center. You'll see the lower abs engaging. Again, we're isolating the pelvis, so we're not moving the whole body, just the pelvis area. You'll see it one more time with the right foot forward now. Again, look at the motion up and over, pulling back, up and over, pulling back, and really limiting the movement from the other parts of our body. Now we're going to put it together. Pelvis rocks, and then torso follows. Pelvis and torso. Pelvis and torso maintaining the range of movement for both. So we're not shortening the range of movement when we put them together. We're maintaining the range of movement just like it is when we're isolating them. Again, from this side, up and over with the pelvis, torso follows. Up and over with the pelvis, torso follows. We're gonna add the arms now and the shoulders. Same thing here. Up and over, and now the shoulders are pulling back. From the side, going up top, and we're gonna bring it down and we're gonna go right from the center, same thing, arms are down, and we pull them out to the side, and we go on top for another four counts. You see the same thing facing the other direction. The range of motion is maintained in the pelvis, the torso, the shoulders, and the arms, one big wave. This is a great example of undulations.